Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nokonic here, and today we're going to be going over the Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga Finale event. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I provide here on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications, that way you get the most recent and up-to-date information about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle delivered directly to you. Thank you, enjoy the video, and have a great day. Alright guys, so level 1, Escape. Uh, there's no actual enemy there, but you have to answer a couple of riddles, and the actual reward is one to two drops of the Nurse Chi Chi reward. Uh, you get an enemy attack and defense minus 74% for one round, so she debuffs the enemy. Uh, decent, I guess. Uh, the, the, the attack debuff, definitely, for sure. Really, really useful. The defense might become useful, like on a rolly event, but that's only on the physical and the strength ones. Level 2, plan to save the universe. You go up against Baby Vegeta, Goten, Gohan, Trunks, and Videl. That's an intelligence unit, physical technique, strength, and agility. And they drop medals, the Gohan, the Goten, and the Trunks medals between 0 to 1 of them. There's no percentage, so I can't tell you how much that they drop. Uh, but you can get all three of those medals from that event if you want to run it. Uh, level 3 is Majin and Ub become 1. It is uh, You go up against the intelligence, Baby Vegeta, and the drop is a technique metastasize evil Gohan possessed GT. It drops either zero, uh, 1 to 2 of them per round. Uh, or I'm assuming that you probably have a 0 on there also, but it says 1 to 2. Level 4, Transformation Failure, Goku's Rampage. You're going up against a Baby Vegeta again. And it's another super intelligence, or extreme intelligence. And this one drops the intelligence trunk. Scraped heart trunks possess GT. You can drop up to two of them in that level. Level 5 is the strongest Saiyan ever, Super Saiyan 4. You go up against the intelligence baby Vegeta. And then he transforms into the golden great ape. Which is also super intelligence. And this one drops Hercule medals. The next and last round is level 6. Atrocious giant ape baby. Again, just giant ape baby, a super intelligence, or an extreme intelligence, and this one drops more of the baby Vegeta medals, and you get up to two of them per round. Some additional information, Hercule medals can be found on the question marks in stage one. You get ten times Hercule medals in, was that hard? Um, and twenty times on Z-hard, uh, uh, by landing on the rainbow circles. So, the first level has no boss, in stage one take the left path, then the right path, the paths are answer riddles asked by the signs on the background. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I did want to also state before I go on to the card reviews, this does follow from the Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga event. So there is that one. I'm not going to be reviewing that in this video, so I just want to let you know that it does stem from that. Uh, that's because there's a, there's one card in here that we're, we're going to go over right now that it comes from. First one is Unwavering Spirit Vegeta GT. Now this one is available on that GT Baby Saga event, the first one, and he's available on level 7, Fight Super Baby. You have to go up against uh, Baby, the first one, who is an agility unit, and then you go up against Super Baby 2, which is an agility, well, which is an intelligence unit. So you go up against agility, then an intelligence unit, and it drops that Vegeta in order to get him. You need to get him up to Super, I would recommend getting him up to Super Attack 10 first. Uh, I'm not going to go over the card stats on him, I just wanted to let you know. We're going to go over the next card stats, though. Uh, Hidoken Awakens with, let's see, 5 Goten medals, 5 Gohan medals, 5 Trunks medals, 5 Baby Vegeta medals, and 2 Baby medals, Baby Youth Form. Um, when Hidoken Awakens, Hidoken Awakens into Dreadful Fusion Baby Vegeta. His leader skills all types HP and attack plus 15%. His super attack is Gallic Gun, causes extreme damage to the enemy. His passive skills, Surprise Offensive, attack and defense plus 3500 when first attacker on the turn. His link skills are Thirst for Conquest, Metamorphosis, Coward, GT, Hatred of Saiyans, and the Saiyan Lineage. His max stats are 75, 74 for HP, attack is 7079, and defense is 4113. And he Doken Awakens with 10 Goten medals, 10 Gohan medals, 10 Trunks medals, 10 Baby Vegeta medals, and 5 Baby medals, Baby Youth Form medals. Now, when he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens at the Threat of Invasion Super Baby 1. Now, this is what I want to talk about real quick. This is really cool because you can run Super Baby 1, his Doken form, alongside the Baby Vegeta, his previous form that we had just went over. That is really good on the LR Frieza event until he turns into the agility type because you can run both of them and they actually they buff each other really well. So you can bring both of them and they're free to play. So if you're looking to go up against the LR Frieza event, make sure you grind out two sets of SA-10 and get them up to Super Attack 10 each. So that way you can put them both on your team and then you can run that uh, LR Frieza event without a problem or at least less of a problem if you're currently running into one. Now this one's also pretty cool because he's a Transcendent Ultra Rare. 
Um, his leader skill is all types, HP, attack, and defense plus 30%. That leader skill is still meh. Um, super attack, his final flash causes supreme damage to the enemy, so that's a good, really good, um, supreme damage is good for a free-to-play unit. Passive skill, new rulers, attack and defense plus 5,000 at the start of turn. Still not that great, it's a flat-out boost. Uh, link skills, GT, Shattering the Limit, Nightmare, Metamorphosis, Thirst for Conquest, Hatred of Saiyans, and Coward. He's actually pretty damn decent to run on a villain's team for a free-to-play card if you're lacking cards for a free-to-play team. Or for a villain's team. So he has, I mean, he has Metamorphosis and Nightmare, which are two really good uh, links. And Thirst for Conquest, which are pretty decent for, on uh, you know, there's a couple cards who actually have that Thirst for Conquest. Anyway, max stats are HP of 83.15, attack of 76.14, and defense of 44.50. I, I, I recommend going for him. I, remember, I recommend getting him. If you're not going to get both of them, at least get one of them and get him up to super attack 10. Uh, get the Super Baby 1. I'd recommend definitely getting Baby Vegeta and Baby uh, Super Baby 1 together at Super Attack 10 because they do link very well. This is really good for a uh, mono agility team, an extreme agility team, if you're lacking characters, um, or if you're just running a Super Vegito and you want two people to link well, or for, you know, um, the villains team I mentioned before. But I'm not going to go too far into it. Let's jump into the next one. Metastasize Evil, Gohan Possess GT. This is a technique card. His leader skill is agility type, attack minus 20%. Super attack is Kamehameha, causes huge damage to the enemy. His passive skill, knowledge of uh, knowledge obtained on Earth. Tech key plus 2, defense plus 20%. So he is a really good support unit for a tech team. Link skills are Thirst for Conquest, GT, Coward, Loyalty, Kamehameha, and All in the Family. His max stats are HP of 6923, attack of 5995, and defense of 3646. He Doken Awakens with 15 Gohan Possessed GT medals and one Baby Medal. Baby, uh, Baby Youth Form Medal. He Doken Awakens into Divergence of Evil Spirit Super Saiyan Gohan Possessed GT. Man, that's a mouthful, huh? His leader skill is Agility Type Attack minus 25%. His Super Attack Kamehameha causes extreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Smart Saiyan Tech. Key plus 3, defense plus 30%. He is such a good support unit. Just, just for the tech key plus 3 alone, he is an amazing unit. Um, t uh, link skills are Super Saiyan, Coward, Kamehameha, Loyalty, Thirst for Conquest, GT, and Hatred of Saiyans. And his max stats are HP of 7995, attack of 7015, and defense of 4170. Now, when I say these guys are really good at support units, that's assuming you guys don't have the key leaders and good link skills between people. I mean, if you guys have the two, three key leaders running, that's a, that's a key lead or key, a starting key of six, and then you have links that get them up to like, you know, eight or nine, you don't need those key leads. I would recommend going with attack buffs. But when, by when I tell you that he has a good passive of tech key plus three, remember that because it's really super useful, especially if you don't have a lot of key running for you. These cards with the key buffs are just super, super useful. Keep that in mind. Um, Alright, cool. The next one is Scraped Heart Trunks Possess GT. His leader skill, Tech Type, Attack minus 20%. Super Attack Buster Cannon causes huge damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Interrogation. Intelligence Key plus 2, Defense plus 20%. And his link skills are Coward, Royal Lineage, Loyalty, Thirst for Conquest, and GT. His max stats are HP of 6267, Attack of 6363, and Defense of 3515. And he Doken Awakens with 15 Trunks Possess GT medals and 1 Baby Youth Form medal. He Doken Awakens into Overflowing Murderous Intent, Super Saiyan Trunks Possess GT. That is a freaking epic title. Overflowing Murderous Intent. It's just, it's crazy, man. I'm kind of freaky. Uh, leader skill, tech type, attack minus 25%. Super attack, Buster Cannon, causes extreme damage to the enemy. His passive skill is the Stored of Power. Intelligence, key plus 3, attack plus 30%. Another really good uh, unit for support on a mono intelligence team. If you guys are lacking key links, or you're lacking good leaders, he will help you get those super attacks off, get him up so that way you can grab the key buff on him. Um, link skills are Super Saiyan, Coward, Royal Lineage, Loyalty, Thirst for Conquest, GT, and Hatred of Saiyans. His max stats are HP of 7224, Attack of 7446, and Defense of 4016. Now, guys, I, I personally like all of these cards. They're all pretty damn cool. Um, again, they're not going to be ones that you run on your team as primary units, but you're never going to know when you need to run a team of free-to-play units to take on an event like the LRs that came out. We have the LR Goku. We have the LR Frieza. There may be events that come out in the future that you're going to need them. It's just good to have them for the future, and you never know. You know, you might want to grab them and get them sent up because they might be cards that one day you're going to need their link skills. There are going to be certain events that you might need them for. Remember, for this one specifically, these guys all have Hatred of the Saints, which is, gonna, which is technically needed 
it on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku to do additional damage to him. You need those Link skills. So if you have a card that has the hatred of Saiyans Link, but you don't have anyone to Link with them, you can get one of these guys, Doken Awake them to make them more powerful, get them to Super Attack them so they do some type of damage to Goku. And, you know, they will be making your other cards stronger. Personally, like I said before, remember on the other event, uh, make sure that you have a really super powerful team because of the, the, the Super Saiyan 4s will be a lot easier to go on, obviously, with a, with, a, with a truck of a team. But that's it, guys. Thank you for joining me here today. I appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Stay tuned. I'll be dropping more videos later on in the day.